And welcome back. Let's start this segment off with a giveaway. How about this? A couple of season passes to River Oak Estates for the winter season right now. Uh, if you'd like to pick these up, uh, if you'd like to win, get into the draw. DaytimeAuto at Rogers.com is the email address to write to. Simple as that. Uh, let's talk to the guy who put it all together, River Oak Estates. Trevor Jamison is here again. Nice to have you. Thanks for having me back. Well, you know, we need to sort of talk about how the last couple of weeks have been going and what's ahead and everything. Uh, first of all, River Oak Estates, in case people don't know what this is all about, what exactly do you do there? Well, this winter we've opened up a, a skating trail. We've got uh, about two and a half kilometers open right now, and it's skating through the orchard, through the meadows. Uh, we've got uh, during the day, at night, uh, all sorts of different things going on. That's nice. Uh, where exactly are you located? We're at 2900 Yorks Corners Road in Metcalf, which is just on the southeast end of Ottawa. Yeah, uh, and it's been going well. I've been I've been hearing the buzz about you. Yeah, it's it's been phenomenal. The the feedback we get from people is just great. The families, uh, couples come out. The kids love it. They can't get enough of it. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, just hundreds of people coming out on the, especially the weekends and uh, really enjoying it. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we focused on this last time. I mean, it's nice that we have the Rideau Canal. It's nice that we have the Canada 150 rink, but this is a true country experience. Yeah, it's something a little different. Uh, our orchard trail, you're in a full canopy with the uh, with the trees all uh, all above you. Uh, it's a uh, it's wide enough to skate two people side by side, so you can pass by or go hand in hand as a couple. So it's uh, large enough for that, but small enough that it's still very personal and uh, a little bit of up and down hill to uh, keep uh, keep a challenge and uh, work yeah. on the legs. I'd be doing the downhill for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, skating uphill has got to be a bit of a challenge. We see some pictures of your amazing uh, uh, location. Uh, just does it take a lot of work to keep that all groomed and lovely, especially when we have some crazy weather, weather conditions? Yeah, it's it's a constant effort uh, every day. But every now and then we had uh, some good luck uh, this past weekend. On Saturday we got a nice rain, so we could sit back and relax and let Mother Nature flood the trails, and they turned out perfectly on Sunday morning. Tell us about the Family Day weekend festival that's coming up. Yeah, Family Day is always a, a great weekend that uh, everybody likes to get together with the families. This year we've also got a PD Day on the Friday, so it's a four-day four wow. weekend for a lot of kids. Uh, so we're going to have, we're just getting our, uh, our little three-on-three -three hockey rinks ready to go, so we're going to have a tournament for that. We're uh, going to have some uh, what we call skate cross races. Uh, other fun stuff for the family, lots of activities and more things we'll be announcing in the in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. I, I see some pictures as well with uh, what, what it looks like uh, people are there at night. So you've got yeah. night skating going on. Yeah, absolutely. We've got uh, a good section of the uh, of the old growth or orchard lit up at night, and it's uh, it's great. You can go for a skate any time, and then uh, if uh, you have a headlamp, it's uh, good to go on the back sections. And mm -hmm. uh, I always recommend people shut the light off and uh, look up at the at the moon. We've got a full moon coming up on Wednesday, and we're open uh, Wednesday night. Oh wow! Uh, so it's uh, some of the some of the back trails. It's so bright in there in a the full moon. You just shut your light off, and you'll see everything uh, perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, look up and check out the stars and uh, all that sort Sounds of stuff lovely. that you're not going to see. One of the last shots we saw as well looks like some wagon rides are going on. Yeah, that's new this uh, this weekend. We just uh, started uh, yesterday actually, and it was a massive hit. We've got uh, four sleighs there, and they were they were packed. And mm -hmm. take them for a tour along some of the skating trails and some of the back areas uh, where you can't, where you're not able to skate, mm -hmm. and uh, see a bit of the the property that we have out there. And you're allowed to uh, bring your your hockey pucks, and absolutely your, your sticks. Yeah, that okay. uh, that has been a massive hit. And uh, unfortunately, we're still getting people showing up without sticks and seeing other people going. Oh, I didn't know I could bring that. Just assumed that I couldn't because everywhere else you can't. Yeah. Uh, but it's been a huge hit. We've got a couple little pond hockey nets that we see kids out there for hours on end just uh, playing a game with their buddies. Yeah. It's pretty tough to hit a, an outdoor rink or pond or anything like that, uh, skating trail, and not have your stick and puck. I'd say that. I mean, it's truly Canadian to do that. Yeah, you you grew up uh, a lot of a lot of these kids grew up playing hockey, and you, it's it feels weird to skate without the stick yeah, in your hand just because that's what you're used you to. You do kind of feel having. naked actually when you're yeah. when you're. Yeah, I've seen seen lots of people skating around with just the stick, and they don't even have a puck just because it's normal to have the stick in their hand. Yeah. So why stop them? You don't recommend naked ski uh, skating though, right? Because it's uh, kind of chilly. They, you can try it if you want. We so had some warm can. weather on the weekend. That's uh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's up to you. You know, well, that's that's. It's a <laughs> you, you can be the first one. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> That'll go your, viral. Your call. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk that'll, about that'll it. That'll make the news. Uh, yeah, it probably will. You do offer uh, skate and equipment rentals now, though. Which speaking we, of, we do. We've uh, partnered up with Replay Sports and Russell, 
and so we've, we've got skates and uh, helmets, which are important. A lot of people that uh, don't have skates might be a little, uh, little shaky on them, so mm -hmm. we've got some helmets to help protect them. And uh, it's pretty reasonable. Uh, he's got them there for seven fifty for the skates, or ten bucks if you want skates and uh, and good. helmet. And you can take it for as long as you want to stay on the on the trail. Just quickly, admission price to get in? It's ten dollars a person, and discounts uh, groups of ten or more. And the season passes are forty dollars each. Amazing. Riveroak.ca is the website to go That's through. That's it. Trevor Jamison, thank you so much for creating this, keeping us healthy and active and outdoorsy. Absolutely. Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Thank you, and we appreciate your time as well.